Today we're going to visit about nailing on composite shoes. Let's look at just a few of the insensitive structures of the horse's foot. We have the hoof wall, the sole wall junction, and the sole. After trimming this foot, I removed the hoof capsule from this cadaver leg so that we could see what was on the inside. The hoof wall is made up of insensitive tissue and it does not contain blood vessels or nerves. So this is why nailing on a shoe into the hoof wall should not be painful for the horse. When we look on the inside of this Versa grip, we can see a portion of the flexible steel plate insert. This nail has been driven flush with the ground surface of the shoe. However, when we look at it against the steel plate, it is not seated firmly into the hole like the nail it is on the right. I'm going to show you two ways of being able to seat the nail firmly against the steel plate and be able to have a nice tight clinch. The style of nail that I like to use has a square head and is called an E-nail. I personally find that it locks into the nail holes better because it has more surface area. This nail is shaped more like a rectangle and is called a city head and I don't feel it seats in this shoe as firmly. Once you've gone ahead and set your shoe and finished nailing it on, go ahead and cut the nails off. I use the end of my hammer to ring them off. I then like to use my clinch cutter to strike the top of the nail head to seat it firmly against the steel insert. I'm then able to use my clinch block and block the nails over to 90 degrees. This is what it looks like when they're bent over to 90 degrees. Here's another view. I like to file my nail back close to the hoof wall. I use about the width of a nail for it to be sticking out. Go ahead and remove the burrs from underneath the nail. Now you can see that the width of my nail is about the length of my nail sticking out from the wall. And then I'm able to use my clincher and bend the nail down all the way flush with the foot. By grinding a small bevel on the side of the shoe where the nail head would be is another way of having the nail head seat firmly against the steel plate. This small bevel allows me, especially when I'm using a smaller nail head, to be able to have contact with it all the way down to the metal plate. So when I block my nail, I have good contact with the metal plate. I'm able to trim my nail back, get rid of the burr, use your clinchers as usual, and then use a buffer or a sanding pad to clean up my foot. And sometimes I'll do a combination of both. On this foot, I've used a clinch cutter to seat the nails against the metal plate as well as put a slight bevel around the edge of my shoe. Following these tips is going to help minimize your clinches becoming loose during your shoeing period with composite materials. Thanks for watching. I sure hope this has been helpful for you. If you've made it this far, please make the time to like and subscribe. Cheerio!